Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. I call Sue Kidsley. Very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, Mr. Speaker, my uh, colleague Dave Clendon was talking about the uh, triumph of ACT in implementing its local government policy in this and other bills before our Parliament. And so I just, I've, I've got this, I've got this uh, in my file. So I pulled out my files. I just thought I'd remind people of the phenomenal success that Rodney Hyde and the ACT Party have had in implementing their agenda. When I read this agenda a year or so ago, it did sound slightly radical. You know, it was going a little bit too far. But he's, Rodney Hyde has just about pulled off the whole lot. So he says, commercial, well, he talks about commercial activities are best performed by the private sector, but for da 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 da. Local government should progressively shed ownership of its commercial activities. Guess what all this putting 75% of Auckland is about? Shed pro local government progressively shedding ownership of its commercial activities, put them all into these CCOs and then get them ready for the asset sales. So the policy local government m sh will be required to shed its commercial activity. Roads and piped water will be supplied on a fully commercial basis. Well, that's the next bill before us to privatise the water supplies. He hasn't got to roads yet, but that'll be around the corner. Co promote contracting out of council services. Uh, require councils to focus on their core functions. Well, that's included in the next bill that is before this House. So it is quite extraordinary uh, that what Mr Hyde has managed to achieve as the Minister of Local Government. And we look at the wider context. He's managed his... One of the main goals is to shrink local democracy. This is the great goal of right-wing uh, parties everywhere, is to shrink the state, uh, the, the, the government, shrink local democracy and put as much as possible into the private enterprise. So what has he done? He's got rid of Environment Canterbury with one fell swoop. He, a, and we can't just blame him, as the former speaker said, the whole of the National Party wiped out Environment Canterbury. We've wiped out the Auckland Regional Council. We've wiped out uh, seven well-functioning Auckland councils. We've now got water ready to be contracted out, privatised for 35 years. Uh, we've now got his, his bill about his, his legislation about shrinking the council's uh, services. So it is, if you look at this bill in the wider context, it is all about Rodney Hyde uh, trying to corporatise uh, local government and uh, shrink local democracy. And in place of local councils, we now have a form of state government. We have 20 councillors representing one third of the population of New Zealand, 1.3 million people. Pretend that that is local government. That is a joke. So we have, rep we have wiped out with this bill, we are wiping out local democracy in Auckland and we're pr replacing it with a sort of form of state government and we should be very, very clear of that, about that. And at the same time, we are, we are siphoning out almost all of the role, all of the functions of local government into these uh, CCOs, these corporate entities, where they, all the decisions will be made by unelected, unaccountable directors appointed by the Minister of Local Government meeting behind closed doors. Sure, there's going to be some amendment twice a year. People will be allowed to come in and, and vent their frustrations and pound the, the table in frustration at, what, at, at the sort of secret operations of these corporate boards, but that is not democracy. The only way, well, one of the ways that Aucklanders can get their revenge on this dreadful piece of legislation is to vote not for the corporate candidate, not for Rodney Hyde candidates, not for the National Party candidates, but to vote for the alternative, for, the, for, a, for a mayor who promises that he will not implement, seek, use his powers, extraordinary powers that no other mayor in New Zealand has to implement the corporate agenda, but who will seek to roll back some of the corporatisation agenda enshrined in this bill and bring about uh, local, uh, more, uh, bring about some or give some meaning to these local boards comprised of four to seven members uh, with a quorum of two. 
What a joke. They're just a fig leaf to try to pretend that there is some element of local democracy in what is state government. I called David.